Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to work specific features of the Media Gallery module. With Uncode, you can create almost any type of media gallery. These can be filterable galleries with different layouts, or they can be carousels. You can create image, video, and audio file galleries. Of course, these different types can also be included in the same gallery to have a mixed multimedia gallery. It's also possible to create album galleries, where an entire independent gallery can be opened by a single thumbnail. Please remember that there are specific video tutorials that explain to you how to work with the posts and media gallery modules, which are practically similar to create a custom design and setup. So we kindly invite you to check these videos if you want to understand more about layouts from advanced grids to carousels. In this video, we can focus on the unique features of the Media Gallery module. Creating a gallery in Uncode is very simple. Just insert a Media Gallery module and choose the files you want to display from the Media Gallery. A gallery can have three main layout modes. Here I show some variations that can be created through the various settings of the Media Gallery module. For simplicity, I modify only the layout setting since there are dedicated videos that explain all the steps. It can be a grid based on Isotope's layout modes. Here we see the classic masonry mode, but all grid variations are allowed. It can be a carousel. Here we see an advanced and modern stage padding carousel. Pretty nice. Or it can also be adjusted to be a justified grid. This layout is inspired by the Google search results image gallery and other popular services like Flickr. All you need to do is set a row height and your media thumbnails will be automatically resized to create a gallery that is perfectly justified on every side. As we saw at the beginning of the video, it's possible to categorize media and create useful filter menus. First step, you have to categorize your media. Open the media library, select a media, and in the media category option, create a new media category if necessary, or assign an existing category. You can also add multiple categories. Note that the same action can be done from the main WordPress dashboard media library, and not only when working with the page builder. Second step. You have to activate the filtering option in the module tab, and if needed, apply the style options according to your preferences. Let's save the module settings, and here we are. Pretty amazing. As you can see now, you can easily rearrange the gallery according to the selected category. When you use multimedia formats, such as video or audio, the classic embed is used. In a nutshell, the native media player is embedded for that type of format. Thanks to the media player, you can play a specific embed directly on the page. Here we see a YouTube and Vimeo players, and also Spotify and SoundCloud embeds. A player, although useful in some cases, sacrifices the layout, and if there are many players, the loading time could be slower, precisely because for each of them opens more connections with the original website. In short, with YouTube, Vimeo, Spotify, and SoundCloud. In Uncode, it's possible to apply a poster image to multimedia embed. The poster image is useful when you do not want to use the embed version of the file, and you want to add a cover or poster from which to open the final media within a lightbox. Let's transform this embeds gallery in a posters lightbox gallery. I copy the ID of the image we want to use as a poster. 
This can be a frame extracted from the video or an image of your choice. I paste in the specific media poster, image ID option of the multimedia file. Obviously, you need to repeat this action for all your gallery items. Then navigate to the module element list tab and edit the media from the original to poster. Now the first source is no longer the original file, but the file indicated as media poster. Here we are. It is now possible, for example, to open the media with the lightbox option and create a dynamic and attractive gallery. With this method, you have fast loading and, above all, more creative possibilities. For example, let's remove the items gap. And in the tab black, set 4 twelfths as the width option to have three thumbnails in each row instead of two. Here we are. This is a sleek test variation. When using a media gallery, the default action when clicking on the thumbnail, where possible, is to open the media in the lightbox otherwise specified. But there are also another two options. First, it is possible to have no action on click. To apply this option, just set the option No Link. Imagine you want to create a visual gallery just to show some elements. In this case, some logos. Second alternative option is the custom link. With this option, you can attribute to every image a custom link to open a different link for each image. This can be useful when creating a client's or partner's section and you want to link to their websites. If you want to do this, first apply the custom link option. Then you can insert a specific link for each item in the single tab. The single tab is used to apply single diversifications. Here you have a list of the media present in the gallery. Inside each one, there are many options. These are the same options of the blocks tab, but they are used, if necessary, to create single thumbnail diversifications. All you have to do is locate the custom link option for each media and insert a specific link. I set the link and I save the modifications. There you go. Let's give it a try. Perfect. Everything works like it should. It is important to highlight that a media gallery can also have textual elements. In fact, it's possible to attribute various properties for each media, as a title, a description, and a caption. All we have to do is activate these items in the list of elements and modify the various layout options according to our needs. For example, I activate now the title element that will display the main title of the media that can be changed in the media library. Since I want to show the title under the image and not above the cover, also modify the layout to Content Under the Image. That's it. Now I want to add the caption and description. So, I insert for all the elements of the gallery a caption and a description. Just select the media that interests us and enter the date. I insert a caption, in this case I use for a geographical info, and I insert in the description a short bio. Of course, you can use these fields for whatever you want. Now I also add in the element list these elements. And if I want, I can rearrange them as I like. I can also apply a background for better readability. And since I want to use a white background, I also set the light skin. Here we are, flexible, right? It's important to remember that you can apply the same options to any type of layout. 
So it's very easy to modify this grid in a carousel or in another layout of your choice.